Internet and the technologies that enable it allow people of every nationality, race, faith, and point of view to communicate, cooperate, and prosper like never before. An African company today can do business anywhere in the world with the internet connection, supporting countless jobs and opportunities for the African people. A mother in rural Africa can sell agro products to a family in America, advancing broader economic development. And moreover, citizens across the globe are being empowered with the information technologies to help make their government more responsive and accountable. And talking about the economic development, it presents us with huge opportunities of transforming our economies. But this journey started 45 years ago, in October 1969, when the first computer-to-computer -computer message was, trans was sent between two computers, and then the internet was born. And this year, as a country, Malawi, we celebrated 50 years of independence. We've always been five years ahead of this technology. <laughs> and you come back home, you visit some of the offices to appreciate how much we've embraced this digital revolution. This is what you get. You still queue for your license. To get your passport, you have to stand on that queue. Uh, you go to the top where decisions are made, that's what you get. <laughs> Yet we've always been five years ahead of the technology. But then we have the next 50 years ahead of us. What if we had a platform where citizens across the country would be able to interface with their government? would be able to interface with various governmental departments, get information, send information, using the technologies that we are here today appreciating. We have challenges. I know, and I'm convinced that the government knows what exactly it wants to do. That's why we have a lot of policies, but they are never implemented because it is never properly advised. A lot of things happening. Is it because we don't have human capital? Or is it because the government is not being advised properly? We do have a few challenges that I think presents to us an opportunity to shape the next 50 years that are ahead of us the next 50 years that brings us hope to have a platform where I should be able, or the citizens in the villages should be able to interface with their ministers, MPs. We do have telecenters in villages. What if we had a platform where these telecenters that are built, where citizens of people from these villages would be able to go and be able to present what type of development they need in their area. And then we are we also able to follow on the progress or we're able to hold responsible our MPs or our ministers. I believe that all of these ideas we're sharing today can help us have a better Malawi in the next 50 years. I believe that if we embrace the homegrown technologies that we've seen and witnessed already today, presents us with an opportunity that we can transform our country. It's a dream where it's not supposed to be done tomorrow. We can do it today. What do we need? We have everything. We've seen presentations from colleges. We've seen a lot of innovations that are happening in our country. We can do it now not tomorrow. Thank you so much.